Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are doing another Amonkhet Intermediate Swiss Draft League. Alright, what do we first pick here? I think Synchronized Strike is a really strong card, so I could see first picking that. It's also a Cartouche of Knowledge, which is good actually, but in blue, which outside of the Slither Blade Hyper Aggro deck I'm not super keen on. Um, Flame Blade Adept is good just because it's a one drop with Menace, which is a pretty premium card, and then Kenra Charioteer, but it's two color. It's actually a pretty underwhelming pack, but I think we'll start it off with Synchronized Strike. It strikes me as a, this strikes me as a card that uh, has the most upside out of this pack. Like, that's a powerful effect. It's pretty versatile, too. Not, as only, not only is it buffing two creatures, but untapping them as well in an exert format. Yeah, Synchronized Strike is actually just a nuts card. I feel like it doesn't come up as often as I expect it to. So, I mean, we could take Neheb. It's a pretty strong build-around rare. Um, there's not a lot of cheap Minotaurs, though. That's kind of the problem. So Gravedigger's probably just better. There's not a good green card in here. Gravedigger's probably the best card. Fanbearer might be up there just because it's cheap. Like, with the low curve thing, I'm usually just more keen on going for one and two drops. But there's enough upside to Gravedigger where I think taking it here probably does make sense. So we'll take it. Over Splendid Agony. So now we can take Bitter Blade Warrior, Doomed Dissenter. There's a Compulsory Rest. I think Bitter Blade Warrior is pretty good. Those two drops that beat in for three are good. There's a Trial of Knowledge, too, which is okay. Not bad. I think we'll take the Bitter Blade Warrior, though. Warrior is good with the Synchronized Strike. That makes sense. Better than Ornery Kudu, I think, for the most part. All right. Warrior. Not a super exciting third pick. I mean, we could just take the Compulsory Rest and assume we're going to give up. one. Eh, might make more sense. The problem is two drops are kind of premium, even ones that on the surface don't seem that great, like Bitter Blade Warrior, but I think we'll actually take the rest. I'm okay with that, because I could actually end up green-white beats again. Ooh. Jeez. Wow. Wowzers. Yeah, this pack's pretty nuts. Um, I think I still take the Synchronized Strike. Cause I guess it does cost three mana, but double buff is good. Merciless Javelinier. Is that the strongest card? This card's good, too. There's a lot of good cards in here. Like, I want Companion, too. I think we'll take the Strike. I'm okay with it. I've accepted it. We'll take the Strike. Okay, now we can take Hooded Brawler. It's a great beater. Over Vitalist. Sparring Mummy. Nimble Blade Kenro. So there's Brute Strength, but I think Cat is what I'm looking at. Some good blue cards in here as well. But Cat's good. Cat is definitely good with the Synchronized Strikes too. And uh, yeah, Cat, I don't know what to say. Cat has just proven itself worthy as far as I'm concerned. So, it's an Avon Wind Guide, which is fine. It's all pretty underwhelming stuff. Could take the Brute Strength. Could take the Winds of Rebuke. I guess we'll take Brute Strength. Not a very exciting pick, but a powerful card if you end up in that color. Alright, now we can take Companion over Cartouche. Companion's actually just good. I like the Companion. Also very good with Exert. Alright, get the Charioteer. Or we could take... Yeah, I'd probably just take the Charioteer. Still a chance. End up red-green. Otherwise, Cultivator, which I guess is good with the Negwin, Negwin counter-related stuff. But that's more of like the black-green. And then there's a Wield Slither Blade. But I think we'll take Charioteer. It's pretty efficient. All right, and we're getting red back, so that's a good sign. Like, I can take Nimble Blade Kenra here. It's going to be good with the Synchronized Strike and the Brute Strength, so it's acceptable over a Stinging Shot. Haze, just cut the green card. Excuse me, cut the green card. All right, cool. We'll take a second Companion over the Cat now. I think it's still a decent chance that we end up... I actually don't know. We're going to take the... Well, I should cut the... I'm not going to run the desert, so I should cut the green card. Second to last pick, Brute Strength. I mean, that's a good sign for red. 
Brute Strength is a very playable card in this format. Heart Piercer Manticore is huge. It's a nice pickup, good finisher. Taking it over Entangler, and Vitalist, and Cheetah. Not looking back on that one, though. Manticore is just very, very good. So there's a Cartouche of Zeal. There's a Trial of Strength. Um, the Trial is the uncommon, so it might make more sense to take that over the Cartouche. The Cartouches are common, so you can hope to get those. Let's just say we're pulling the trigger on this red-green aggro thing. I'm fine with that. So I gave up a Bitter Blade Warrior, which admittedly I would like right now, but you can't look... I, I don't think you can be... have. I think it's just hindsight bias looking back on that one. Trial of Strength is also good with the Charioteer, too. And we'll probably wheel one of these flings, and I'll probably end up playing it. We have decent powered creatures, too. All right, I'm taking Trial here over Cartouche. I think Cartouche is very good, by the way. I think Trial, just like I said, because it's an uncommon, has a little bit more potential upside. There's a Scattered Grove, so technically we could uh, splash the Compulsory Rest, but I'm not really loving that. I'm not really loving Colossipede or Manticore. I'd probably play Manticore over Colossipede anyway. So maybe I'd just take the Manticore here. How much is Scattered Groves worth? It's pretty unusual. Well, I, actually, I guess a good reason to take Scattered Groves is that it mitigates a little bit of... Uh, it can mitigate a little bit of Mana Screw. It's only 58 cents. But, like, we can play it regardless of Splashing White. And the nice thing is, if you're getting flooded, you can just cycle it. Otherwise, like I said, am I am I going to need a Manticore? I actually think this card's okay, but I'd rather just run as low a curved deck as possible. So I'm actually going to take the Scattered Groves here. So now there's uh, another Hooded Brawler, which will just slam over the Cory Hauler. Go for the three drops. Monitor's fine, but we're going for another Brawler here. All the Brawlers. So now there's a Cory Hauler. Heaven and Earth, which I suppose we should probably just take. Heaven and Earth is actually pretty good with our Brawlers, too. Attack for five, maybe you get in, then you can nuke for three. Kills Flyers, too. I, I don't know, it's a powerful effect to have. It's not exactly what a Hyper Aggro deck wants, but I think it's got to be the pick here over Cory Hauler, probably. So there's another Brute Strengths. I guess we'll go deep on Brute Strengths. If you don't have removal, tricks will do. And Brute Strengths got to be good with Hooded Brawler as well. So our deck just needs some more cheap stuff. Like, Nimble Blade Kenra gets a lot better when you're running triple Brute Strength, double Synchronized Strike. This thing can get super pumped. So Warfire Javelinier currently has only five tools at its disposal. So maybe we just want the Kopesh, but I think we actually want more creatures. We're actually a little bit creature light, so I'm actually going to take the Javelinier here over Colossipede as well. Okay, Nimble Blade is... I think we're just taking it because it's a two-drop, and like I said, it's good with the tricks that we already have. I like the Cheetah, but we're, we're good on three drops, so I'm actually going to take Nimble Blade. All right, we did get the Flings back, as expected. I'll take one. It's it's actually a good deck for it. Throwing a Hooded Brawler with five power, throwing a Brute Strength. Like, if you double brute, six mana, double Brute Strength, Fling something, it's just insane. So, taking the Foil one, obviously. Uh, onward to Victory, or Six Cents. I mean, I guess we're not playing any of these anyway. Um, I guess if there's an artifact I need to blow up, I'm not going to play the Cultivator. Take the rare, I guess. Take the full art thing. Alright, so we have a pack to find, like, five creatures. There's an approach of the second zone. So we can take the Cartouche. There's a Scavenger and an Initiate as well. And like I said, we do need five creatures, but I think we're actually going to take Cartouche of Zeal. We have the Trial of Strength, which does count as a creature card, which means we're at uh, 11 creatures currently. So I think we can find four creatures, and having the Cartouche Trial Synergy is nice. Plus, Cartouche is just really a, kind of an absurd card in some board states. really lets you just push through a lot of damage. Not the most exciting first pick, admittedly, but I think it's what we got to pick there. All right, so we can take the Inciter now over the Spider. Yeah, that makes sense. Get our curve lower. Inciter's very good with some of our beaters as well. So I think that makes sense. So we can take the True Heart Twins, which is actually pretty good because we have the uh, Brawlers for exerting. I guess we don't have that much exert. 
But you can also untap them with the companion too, which is nice. I don't know. True Heart Twins is good. I don't have a problem with it. It might be a little bit pricey, but I think ultimately it's got pretty powerful effect on it. All right, we can take the Kudu. It's not a very exciting pick, but I don't need a second fling, and we're still just creature light enough where I think we'll kind of want it. So a fourth Brute Strength. I mean, that's a lot of Brute Strengths, but otherwise it's like a Honed Kopesh, which I probably don't need. All right, we'll take Brute Strength. So we have 14 creatures currently. Pretty good creature count, actually. Take the Brute Strength. I don't know if I'm going to run the Heaven and Earth. Just isn't quite the right deck for it. So I don't like Ronus's Monument, but I might just take it, I guess. I don't need a second fling. I don't think we're going to play it. Because I don't think it's a particularly good card. But So we can take Vitalist. I don't really like Vitalist all that much in this deck in particular. But I guess we don't need a Shed Weakness, so all right. I can take the Evolving Wilds. Take a Vitalist, I guess. Second Cartouche? I think it's worth it, honestly. Cartouche is very good. And even though we only have the one trial, it's still probably worth it. I'm going to ditch the Monument. I'm just not impressed enough. So we have 15 creatures currently. I think I'm actually going to not main deck the Heaven and Earth. I know it seems a bit crazy, but it's just not in theme with what I think our deck wants to do. It could be, but it's just, honestly, it's just not. All right, the initiate, getting the initiate back is actually nice because I do want to run that. So I might cut. I'd probably just run it over the Vitalist, honestly. I don't want a Vitalist in this deck that much. Initiate makes more sense. Take another fling. We don't need the spider. Blazing Volley is a good sideboard card. Uh, we don't have space for the Kopesh. We're doing other things. All the flings. All right, take a Kopesh now. Four flings. I don't think we need four flings. So Warfire Javelinier has only six, seven we're not going to run. So it has seven things. I mean, if you can kill something with Warfire Javelin here, you're usually feeling okay. Paying four mana for like a 2-3 that kills something small is actually pretty good. And even if you deal one damage to something, it can be enough. It's probably okay, honestly. We'll cut a fling. And then, yeah. So something like this. It's a lot of brute strengths, but... I think it makes sense in a deck like this. This uh, looks pretty good. This honestly looks pretty good. 15 creatures with the trial. Bunch of combat tricks. Fling for the win. Cartouches to sneak past things. I dig it. I think this will do it. We'll run that Scattered Groves too, just in case. And uh, so we'll probably do 9-7 split. I mean, we do need the green early, though, but we need red early, too, and we're going to need red in multiples. So I think we are doing 9-7, which they also say, but we'll cut a forest and we'll bring in the scattered groves. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty good to me. I like it. Low curve, plenty of tricks, plenty of ways to push damage through. I know it seems strange to not run the heaven and earth, but wherever it went to. Actually, don't. Oh, here it is. Uh, but I don't know. I don't want to run it over anything. I think, like, our deck has a single minded, a more of a single minded plan, which is get a bunch of damage through quick with brute strengths and then fling some stuff at our opponent or, you know, just push damage through. I think this deck can do that pretty nicely. So, all right. Here you have it. Red, green beats. We'll see you around one.